big, big news. There's been one thing that has been holding us up from expanding our farm, making Nuggets area bigger, making the Goats area bigger, and that one thing is about to get done. Let me show you what I'm talking about while we're doing chores today. Good morning, Scott. Look, Scott, Cloverleaf, popcorn, all together. We had a good rain yesterday. Really good rain. What's up, more girls? coming in a couple of more days. And then a cold front's coming. I could actually be wearing short sleeve this morning, but yeah. I, I, had to, I had to wear my new shirt. It's representing Mr. Nugget. Yeah. Speaking of him, y'all want to let him out while I feed the girls? We can. Make our run over there and open the gate. What's up, Boots? He looks like he's eager to come out. Well, I know what y'all want. Yeah. One, two, and then this girl down here. She got one. She got it. She doesn't know her way, but it's a nug. In the alarm system. Uh -oh. Hey, Nuggy. And Tucker. What's up, Nuggy? What's up, big man? Look, Nugget. Can you believe you have your very own shirt? Yeah, Look. He believes it. I wonder if they have one in an emu size. <laughs> <laughs> we can get you one. This is a grassy. He needs a, bana a bandana. I a thought bandana. you said he needs a banana. I thought you said a banana too. He doesn't need a banana. No, he well, doesn't. can get us a bandana. It says no grassy. It says no grassy. Oh, here he goes. Oh, nugget. Oh, he's going to put it in a four wheel drive going over there. <laughs> You better lock the hubs, Nugget. Woo. That was like a little loop-de-loop. -loop. That was just a warm-up. Don't bite her tail. Did you see I him? I saw him. More cracker? No, that's my hand. <laughs> Joe, you want a cracker? Joe, Joe. Here you go, buddy. Come here, Tom. Get you one. Come here, Tipper. Now let's don't be ugly. Everybody gets their own cracker. And then we have to play this. We have to play this game of ring around the roses. Cause... Oh, you're you're doomed. You're doomed. You're doomed. Did you get it? Yep. All right. And that was in there. Oh, animal cracker lid was in the. Oh, Nugget that's said what it was. Gonna clean up. All right. How's everybody in here? Good. Good. Got lots, of chickens laying. Got lots of chickens laying this morning. This is great. Here recently, I've had several people ask me about. Let me get out of here because it's so loud why their chickens are not laying and is there anything they can do to help them and not really it's just this time of the year chickens have a laying cycle and it all really has a lot to do with the sun believe it or not chickens need a lot of sunlight to produce eggs so naturally as the year goes on the days get shorter so therefore your chickens lay less eggs but when the springtime comes right back your chickens will be right back full production and laying again so there's nothing wrong with your chickens that's just mother nature doing her thing y'all ready for the pooling pool coming up if y'all keep up with us, you know that we've had some major upgrades and changes to the farm over the last year. And just our farm looks way different than it did a year ago. But there was one area of the farm that we've really, really been struggling with. And we had a, a land crew that was supposed to come in and fix it. And that has always been our creek bank and the washout area 
in in that vicinity of the farm as y'all know a uh, tropical storm last year wasn't it last year blew out maybe been year four last made some huge sinkholes in this area uh our pig house fell in it uh it, it, it was a total total mess this area is always wet and what i'm talking about is this area right in here now this is you can see our chicken coop and this is the main reason why we haven't extended this chicken coop out we have a lot of y'all ask us are we going to make this bigger where are we going to put nugget uh you know the silkies are over here in the doll kennel that we move quite regularly and the main reason is because this area needed work to be done well about almost a year ago we got up with a land crew that had an excellent idea and instead of because our creek banks about in between 10 to 15 foot drop and it just dropped straight off and then when heavy rains came or anything like that it would start just beating that bank and eroding it and we had several people come in and had the suggestion of bringing more red in building the bank right back up and then putting riprap on it well this guy had a totally different suggestion and that was is to dig the bank out and make it a gradual slope instead of just dropping it off and bringing more dirt in which we thought was an excellent idea well it's been a while since we heard from him last and every now and then he would reach out to us and say hey look it's too wet hey look i'm backed up and then corona hit and so it's been a wait and see game and actually we recently had just talked about this that we did not think he was coming that he had totally forgot about us because it's been so long it was february was it february it was february and we just knew that he wasn't coming and that has been the major major obstacle for us with this area because we had already had the rip wrap brought in yep that we were going to need to put on the bank um i had an opportunity for for a trucking company and they had an opening and they could bring me the rip wrap so i had it brought in i knew that we had to have something done but i didn't know when it was going to be done and we didn't have the equipment to move that huge rip wrap which are the big gray limestone rocks um on that bank so i mean we had it sitting here and it was kind of an eyesore piled up but what were we to do that's right so and this was something that we couldn't do ourselves we had to have some heavy heavy equipment so that's where we've been well out of the blue this week the guy contacted mrs car kill <laughs> my and phone rang <laughs> and it, it had his contact information and I was like, hello? You know, thinking, what's going on? He said, do you think I forgot about you? And I, <laughs> my immediate answer was yes. <laughs> because in all honesty, I, I just didn't know what was going on. I hated to bug him. He kept telling me that he was going to get to me. He was going to get to me. And so he said, uh, well, I plan on getting started down there in the morning. And I was like, I couldn't believe it. I mean, my eyes lit up and I was like, <laughs> And he said, is that okay? Sure, it's okay. He said, well, I'm actually down here now. <laughs> and so I'm in the house. I didn't even know he was here. And uh, so I stepped outside and we went over again what we were gonna have done. And Well, so he showed up the next day. I had to go to work and he started on the creek bank and actually, you know, pretty much got it done. It's pretty neat. I wish I had one of those. They used to drive me in the bucket everywhere. Is this little for him? A little job? Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's a big job for us. Yeah. A bank beginning to form instead of a big washout. And the ducks are in the bottom loving what they're seeing. And he's putting all the rip wrap in one pile. So it'll be easy to get to. What, babe? I don't like the sand. It is. It's different looking, isn't it? This is the spot where your bantam coop used to be, isn't it? Here come some ducks swimming by. I bet they're going to start.
start using this side more than the other side. Yeah. Looks like we're going to have our own personal beach. What do you think? Yeah. We're ready to expand so Nugget can have more room to run. Right, Nugget? Look, like he nodded his head. Did he? Yeah. Your alarm system's back there. They're on the outside of the fence. What do you think about this work? work going on and you down here working on your suntan girl this is what he did right here and like I said earlier this was a huge drop off he came in he gradually sloped this back for us he put the rip wrap down for us did you know that he could we got some more rip wrap in the creek that we're probably gonna get out and put on the bank too and gosh it's way way better than what it was this was all washed out this was all completely just a total mess you can see how low it is where the pine straw is that's right and that's where we want to come in and and just fill it up um, make it larger make it higher and and hopefully you know drain that water more gradually not have low-lying areas yes. where we you know we have puddles of water standing because this area here we're gonna make larger for one is so nugget can have more room you know we're gonna make this fence come on out i don't know exactly where but we're gonna make it come on out so nugget can have more room nugget then and the chickens and, and the, the chickens everything. and everybody and then we're gonna make mary carl her very own silky area I, w I would like to call it the silky village the silky village how about that i just That'd thought cool. of that <laughs> silky village and then we would like to make the goat pen bigger. Make the goat pen bigger and fill in this little triangle area, but you can see how muddy it is in there. That's well, yeah. what we're gonna fix. You can see where the water has made paths. Yep. Um, and I feel like if we fix this drain, we raise the table, yeah. the, you know, where the dirt is. I agree. Then um, the water has nowhere to go but in the drain. In the drain. We will slope the, the land this way to go to the drain. Mm -hmm. And, um, and make this a triangular goat pen area. That's right. And we then have big dreams. we do. And it's really it's gonna come true. Yeah, this was our main holdup. This is what we couldn't do because uh, yeah, we, we didn't have the equipment. And plus I didn't want to go in and bring in a bunch of dirt with him saying he didn't know how much dirt was gonna That's be right. there. What if he had brought in a or not brought in, but pulled back a whole lot of dirt and then I hadn't needed it over yeah. here. It's much easier to add to than take away. That's exactly right. So so that is our major plans You here. see where Mary Carly is. You see where the water is just It's just constant. And it's constant. We have a low water table. This is a swamp. It is. This was a, our area. Let me show you guys what this area used to look like before we got here and started doing what we've been doing. But this is exactly where our chickens are, where our goats are. Everything in this low bottom looked just like this right here this is all swampland you can see it this is just a total witness and this is just the hand we've been dealt and we've pretty much corrected i would say probably what 80 percent of it 80 percent of where we have um structures yeah built, i mean this is this this is all just witness all throughout this whole bottom you can see the ferns and the type of trees that are growing here that love water uh, these are sweet bays. This is all water loving stuff and it's just it's a swamp. I mean all this was is Well, I, it, I it will looks say that so there wasn't days that we came down here after a big heavy rain and just stomp our foot and say, I'm tired of it, I yeah, wanna leave, I wanna right. move. Because there were lots of days like that. Yes, it was but, lots of days um, like that. 
you know, as time's going on and we've made it, made, made it, made minor changes. Working. Sometimes you just have to go with the hand you're dealt with and do the best you can with it. Do the best you can with what you have. So that is our plans here on Cog Kill. That is our major, major plans. And we'll be so happy when this is done. I, I can't, I just can't tell you. And we, we got plans with the boys goat pen. We're gonna make it bigger. We're gonna build them a bigger shelter. Um, we even talked about extending the garden a little ways back. They give us more room in the garden. So, you know, we got, we got big ideas. Things are gonna move forward. Absolutely. And I get to m use my tractor a little more. You get to lose your tractor a little more yeah. and probably gonna rent a bobcat probably, probably more than once. Rent a bobcat. And we've even talked about possibly buying our own bobcat. Buying our own bobcat. But that was a... You know, I feel like, I kind of feel like once all this is done... May not need the bobcat? No. Okay. I mean, you know, once it's done... Maybe um, you're right. You know, maybe our little tractor will be just for maintenance and I don't know. We'll have to see. I do like the bobcat. Though. I do like the bobcat though. What you got? <laughs> you know, since it's been cooler, we've been having a few fires in the house. That's right. And I collected the ashes. Oh yeah. And it is good for pest control for chickens. It controls mites and other, you know, parasites they may have on them. So I was thinking we might want to dump them in the hydrangea bed. That's where they like the dust bags. Well look. So. Hey, they're in there now. That's evidence. What do you think? Just spread them out or pile them up? I would what? pile them up in a pile they really like to lay in. I got one right there. Oh, I see one. Look in here. They got that big hole. Yeah, that big hole will work too. All right, so this is evidence that they like this area. You think do them in two different areas? Yeah. Oh, they're going to love it. Here's another one. And this is a great natural way for them to control. Look, the turkey's fixing to get in it. Uh, control pests and parasites like mites and lice. And this is how they do it by dust bathing. And the uh, the ashes work even better than regular dust. So if you got ashes laying around, or even a, you burn a wood pile, they'll they'll get in it. They'll find it. Yeah. And if you if you don't have a dust bathing area, look, or if your chickens look. are not free range. You could get a container of some sort. That's right. And um, maybe a cat litter pan or mm -hmm. something like that, and put them in there, and um, and they'll they'll use it when they need it. They know when they need to dust bathe, and chickens are checking it out already. They are checking it out. This PIT is fixing to do it. Um, I think we talked about it in the last video that or we needed a few more stockings, so we picked these up at the thrift store. Twenty five cents. About, about that. Hold this one. Oh, we're about three short. <laughs> this one's for Tony. <laughs> it looks just the Nugget, most... Nugget, we've already got yours up. That's the most perfect. And these are tiny, so I'm thinking like Sally and Cine. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Nugget said he wants them. Bell and Cine. Bell and Cine. Let's put them back in the bag so Nugget... <laughs> Look, do you like this one? That Tony one is absolutely... Yeah. You like this one? Darling. He said, no, I like that little tiny one. Oh, there we go. There, there we, we go. go. Up under there the wings. Goes. That was perfect timing. Yep. We didn't even have to tell her. Nope. They'll seek it out. They love those wood ashes. And we'll continue to do that every time we, you know, burn, collect. Yep. And you can even mix some DE in there, some yeah. diatomaceous earth. And here's the thing that, you know, how we always are, we don't judge anybody. So you always do the best, you know, for your situation. And if we actually keep some seven dust on hand in case we get an infestation, which can happen to anybody, as clean as our coops and stuff are. And they live in the dirt. We could get an infestation of lice or mites, which... Look uh, at her. <laughs> which do not affect humans. So don't worry about that. It's strictly poultry. If you do get infestation, or like us, if we ever get one, we will we will use seven dust and dust the chickens. We don't do it all the time, but if we do get one, we will use seven dust because those wood ashes and DE That's a natural. is not gonna stop an infestation. You're not nasty. You're not you're you no not a bad chicken farmer handler. Nope. 
If you have them, it's just something that needs to be treated. They just happen. Am Look, I fixing to get wet? Yeah, you fix them. Oh! Nugget! Nugget, you know they're talking about some snowflakes next week. Can y'all believe that? It's 80 degrees today and snow possibly next week. Nugget, I don't have a short sleeve Nugget shirt, so. Like at SeaWorld where the first few yeah. rows are. <laughs> You know, That's wet. what it's like. I Nuggets. think I'm still in the wet zone. <laughs> it's like Shamu. What's up, Scott? Man, I can't wait. How long do you think for his tail is going to be full? Oh, man. Come February, he's going to be looking right. That's what I think. You're a handsome man. Even without a tail. Hey. I like seeing me saying I look pretty without my tail. <laughs> <laughs> A tail makes the bird, you know. <laughs> she can wrangle her over here. What are you, what you wrangling? Nugget's going to help. Come on with a chicken. Look behind, look out behind you. <laughs> it looks like he got a little something sticking out of his beak. I mean, he probably does got something sticking out of his beak. What, uh, what color egg does she lay? She's supposed to be uh, Americana, which lays a uh, colored egg. But it's a light cream color. Wow. Huh. Well, that's the thing about Americana is you don't know. Yeah. You don't know what you see. You have no idea what it's color it is. It's a roll of the dice. Look at how poofy her cheeks know, are. That's what I they like about it. They say pink, them. green, blue, or green. 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 That's a color, isn't it? Yeah. That's my favorite thing about them. More than the eggs. What? They're poofy They're cheeks? little poofy cheeks. It's so Where's cool. There's that one that's got the huge cheeks. Oh, I just had her. We have two that are twins, and I'm talking twins. They are they the rumpless cool. ones? Uh, no. No. Look, I mean, here comes a blue lace red. I was going to say, y'all want to see a pretty chicken now. She's got some yellow legs, too. Look at this blue, what is it called now? Blue laced red one dot. Blue laced red one dot. Her reds just start coming in, but it'll be she a lot is more red than that. stunning. She's just a young bird. Oh, yeah, she's extremely young. We know goats pretty, but that oh, thing that right there out. is beautiful. Everybody knows Miss Goat's pretty, though. Oh, you almost catch Lavi? I see her. This is the time of year for one to be molting. Molting, molting. And all y'all wondering, Thomas made it through Thanksgiving over there. And so did Ruby and Rhonda, but Thomas did too. We have people ask about Thomas all the time. There he is. I think it'll be interesting to see come breeding season if Thomas is back full force. That's what he I just yeah. played that out. Yeah, we're going to find out. I mean, you know, he just couldn't get enough of us last spring. And I have a feeling he's going to be back. I think so too. And then y'all are going to be like, where's Thomas where's been Thomas all this in? time? Yeah. Well, <laughs> Thomas he's is been, been laying low, getting ready for spring. What do you got in your mouth? You got some grass right there on the side. Like a little toothpick. Yeah, I like her. She's beautiful. See her poofy cheeks, too? Yeah. Just gorgeous. Her identical twin. I mean, she is identical. Looks just like her. She does look just like her. She is a beautiful girl. And all Americanos have that little peak on. Yeah. That's it's how you all crinkled tell up. Well, look what we have. A miniature duck parade. Oh, there's one left behind. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's several. I can hear them. Yeah, they're fixing to come. It looks like boy, girl, boy, girl, boy, girl. It does. Nug, what do you think about the duck parade? Now you said they need an parade. Came down here and we weeded the garden. Y'all been weeding the garden. Mary Cross working on the English peas. She was helping me weed. But we got it all done except for the wheelie plow. Here's one. Can you believe how pretty it looks? It's beautiful. Man, look at that lettuce. I think we can, I think we can start eating some salads. I think so too. <laughs> And you can see the little bulb forming on the karabi. See it? Is that right there? Oh, our garlic. What do you think about it? That's pretty good looking garlic. Ain't it awesome? It is awesome. 
I'm super stoked about this garlic. Y'all did do a number on the weeds. Looks fabulous. But this is what I'm happy about. Y'all look at this. That's some pretty lettuce, ain't it? That's a vibrant color. It is beautiful. I'm pretty sure this is a sunflower, Mary Carl. Alright, so I'm going to run the wheelie plow through there since y'all did all that hard work. These can go up. You can see though, no weeds in these rows. No weeds in the rows. It's almost like a painting. It is, isn't it? Just the colors are so pretty. Talking about us having freezing weather next week. Yeah, I think there's two days when it's in the 20s. Possibly some snow. 20s are like a uh, few and far between. Yeah, very few and far between. Be inter interesting to see how the plants fare. It may burn the tips of some of them. But, um,. It's, it shouldn't it shouldn't wipe us out by all means. I think we'll be fine, fine. And we have a turkey that's coming to check out the weeding. Ruby or Rhonda? We don't know. Mary Carl will have to come tell us. How I, she tells them apart, she says by their size. Oh well, it's easy for her. Well, how she can, can you just... tell by the size when it's one by itself? I don't know. But she can. We knocked that out real quick. We did knock that out real quick. And look how pretty. It's so beautiful. beautiful. Wow. Dirt, what you call black gold, it, I believe. Oh, it's so pretty. It is so pretty. You know what I gotta do? What? I gotta put that mineral bucket in there. Uh huh. Reckon I can do it without coming back smelling like a book? Nope. I wanna I wanna smell you when you get finished. Topper. He thinks he's gonna come in here and not smell like you when he gets out. I think he's crazy. What do you think? You sure are a pretty boy. Who's he gonna smell like you or Joe? His tip doesn't stink. You ready? Uh, yeah, well, you might just better set that down. Hey, you can go over there and try to squeeze yourself through that window. How about if I keep them back with animal crackers? I don't think that's going to work. They're going to have you pinned in there. It's only tip. Topper said he got you. I think I did it. <laughs> Joe's looking at you like, well, I think I did it. that man's crazy. And Tipper's the first one to, to get on it. I don't think I brushed one. I think I smell Wobbling. good. They love that mineral bucket. They love that mineral bucket. Get a tip. Ready to go get some of it. Yeah. Tip's going to get it all. <laughs> Tip's so happy. Hey, Peach. We got all the chores done today and stuff. I'm just gonna go clock out. I'm just gonna let you know. Hey guys, if you missed any videos of our complete farm makeover, check out that playlist right over there. And if you're interested in our hats, they're up on our website because we make our hats and our shirts are done by Teespring. Check out that link right down below me. Y'all be good.